Hello and welcome to another edition of the Bald Watch model. And today we're going to be building a Slim Willard. And here we've got the case. The first thing you see me doing here is I'm actually using some isopropyl alcohol to remove the markings on the inside of the chapter ring because the original didn't have it. So we, we've got to get rid of it basically. Um, and then I soaked the um, front of the watch case in some isopropyl alcohol so that I could remove the bezel insert because the bezel insert loom pit was quite raised and I didn't like it so you soak it in there for a while half an hour 45 minutes and then just get something in between the dial and the lever it off you can twist it but I don't like that because what it can do is push whatever's adhesive is into the movement so here we can see the case here it's a really nice case it's a 19 um, mil lug width so it's very close to the original and now we have the insert. So you can see there the insert on this one is much flatter, which is what I wanted. I didn't want that, that sort of raised pip. The hands are again the Willard hands. These ones are chamfered on the edge, so a bit better quality. And I had to use the original um, hands, the second hand, the second hand with the nice little red dot on it. And the strap is from Buckland Stitch from Amazon. Really nice um, rubber strap. A good price, $14.95, really nice quality for the price. And so the first thing we've got to do is unwrap the movement. So this is going to have an NH35 in it. So the NH35, which we all, we all know very well. And the first thing I do is just quickly just check it, uh, make sure it winds around properly and make sure it's not in between dates before I start working on the movement. So I took a dial that was at 3.8 crown position so i could identify what the date would be just to make sure you can guess after a while but just to make sure and then once i did that it's time to put on the uh dial dots in this case um double-sided um tape once you've done that it's just a matter of taking off the dial feet because of course they won't align um pop that on make sure that it's straight on the uh, date and sort of as centre as well as possible and then just make sure that the calendar wheel turns fine. It was now a case of putting on the hands as usual it, you put it to 12 and then you put on the hour hand wind it around make sure it's working okay then put on the minute hand put it as close as you can to 12 and then check that that's okay make sure that it's fitted on properly it's not going to fly off and that it's not going to hit anything else um i just quickly aligned it slightly there because it was slightly off and then it's the seconds hand so once the seconds hand on again check it make sure that everything's okay everything's aligned nothing's hitting um and then just give it a little bit of a clean up so we can move on to the next stage we're going to put the movement back inside the case now so that we can fit the crown and stem so pop the movement back into the case and then use a screwdriver in order just to, or whatever you've got, in order just to push it down inside the case on the plastic case holder. Connect the crown to the stem that you have had, that you have normally comes with the movement. And then what you want to do is put it into the case, into the movement, just feed it in, twist it about lightly and it will connect. It's then a case of measuring the gap between the crown and the stem hole and then re-removing the stem. Once you've done that, measure the total length of your uh, stem and deduct the amount that you measured. Mark it off on your um, stem. And then once you've marked it off, what you want to do is just cut it off. Cut it off as straight as you can. You might need to file it off a little bit just to make sure that it's okay. And then it's a case of feeding it back onto the, the crown, back onto the stem and reinserting it into the um, case. Sometimes, as you can see there, I find it easy to use some pliers to hold it. Feed it back into the case and check the fitment. Make sure that everything's working okay and you're not going to have problems. Then it's a case of a dab of Loctite so you can hold the crown on. Screw that on and... Don't use too much. Um, I used a little bit too much here. And as you can see, I just used a bit of um, rotted coat in order to take that off. Then what I'm going to do is just dab a little bit of silicone grease on the edge of the case. So that when we screw in the crown, that basically it's going to coat the, um, the rubber O-ring inside of there. Do the gaze back holder. Pop it onto the back of the case. Make sure that it's properly aligned before you put the case back on. 
once you've got the case back on just anti-clockwise then clockwise wind that down and then tighten with your case back tighten up so you can now see what we've got to do is pop on the bezel insert so pop on the 3m sticker and then just basically peel it off and what you want to do is wind the bezel round knock it back to make sure it's in position and then line up your loom pip or you know with the indices to make sure that it's as straight as possible give that a little bit of a check to make sure it's okay there is a little bit of give at first once that's spot on it's a case of basically popping on the strap so here we have the waffle strap going onto the watch nice and simply and we have the end result so here we have our slim willard the case is absolutely stunning an absolute stunning case as i said 19 mil lug width very true to the original by removing the markings on the inside of the chapter ring um it's made it more true to the original as well and luckily there's a lot of refraction off of this glass because it's beveled on the size it's absolutely brilliant looks looks really like the original um a very very nice case did have to remove the bezel insert though because of course it had that raised limb pit which i don't like and now we're going to take it outside and have a look at it and it's even even nicer outside this i mean the minute i finished making this watch i was like it's absolutely lovely i'd even go as far to say is i'm not sure which one's better this or the, the original willard in some ways i kind of like this more it's really 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 nice um watch it's very subtle very um understated very much of its time but a lovely wear nice and light very comfortable anyway so this has been another mod by the bald watch modder tune in soon because we will have more mods coming up so thanks a lot for watching and see you soon bye